next is tuna salads for lunch. So tuna, avocado, edamame, kales, um, radish and coconut aminos. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Sorry, excuse my red blemish. Um, it's Monday and I'm just going to do a bit of a at home day. Um, I'm going to put loads more bits up on Depop and maybe um, knit or crochet. I've been beading. I've put loads more of my beads up on depop on bracelets and stuff so if you want to check that out definitely go uh link will be in the description um i'll just put some photos here to show you examples um i might even make some of these phone charms and put them on depop as well you know they're trendy at the moment so i thought why not um so yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna put some more clothes up on depop and see what else gets up and see what else I get up to this week um, and take you along for the ride. I just made a really nice um, chocolate and banana smoothie just to hold me over till dinner. It's got a bit of collagen in it so that really helps as well um, for gut health and keeping your skin youthful and um, all that kind of good stuff. So yeah. It's definitely one of my go-tos and I really enjoy it. It also helps stop uh, sugar cravings as much. Um, you just freeze your bananas in the freezer and then um, you put a little bit of almond milk, um, a bit of pure cocoa powder and, and then your collagen of choice. And then you whiz that up in the blender and then you're good to go. You've got a delicious smoothie. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get on with the Depop now, putting my stuff on Depop. It's been one of those days where the day just flies by. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to catch up with everything. But um, I also found some cotton yarn I have that I want to practice making something with. I'll probably get a few more. Maybe I'll do some crochet or, yeah, I think I'll crochet with these cotton yarns because they're the good thickness for crochet. Um, but yeah, that's just what I've been doing this Monday, not too much. to carry on tomorrow. Good morning you guys. Um, today I'm just getting ready. I've been crocheting a little bit since last night. I was trying to get good at crochet because I'm quite good at knitting so I wanted to know that I can crochet as well so I'm just at the moment crocheting a bag I'm just starting with the base and it seems to be going not too bad so I'm quite happy about that um I thought I would just do my makeup um but yeah you guys don't really need to see me do my makeup I think it's just I'll fast forward I love this um lemonade lano lips is really nice and it's clear it basically smells like fresh lemon
Invisible shield on my hands. Just stop aging on the hands. Good to go now. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, this is what I got up to last night. In the evening, I was just trying to, um, I was just trying to start a crochet and crochet a bag, so here it is so far so as you can see I'm just going round you start by doing the line here and then you have to just keep going round and then as you can see it's turning into a tote bag hey guys how are we doing I hope we're doing good um, it's a new day it's still not good weather in England um, it's the weekend now I think Dexter and I will probably go see my nan and yeah I'm just gonna see if I can make us some nice brunch or lunch um, but yeah I just wanted to show you my top I got can you see um, it's um a it's German Shepherds on it it's a thrifted top from Depop that I got um, just because when I was younger I did have two German Shepherds so I thought in honour of them it'd be nice for me to have a German Shepherd t-shirt it is a size small I would have preferred a medium because I like my t-shirts oversized but it's still like a good fit and then I also need to be on the hunt for a new one now where it's Hungarian Vizsla because you know poor Lottie I need one to represent her as well um, but yeah, <clears throat> I thought I would just see what we can have for lunch. So let's just have a look. Also, this is our avocado tree that we have grown literally from a stone last year. Look how big it's getting. It's crazy. And it's also growing a small baby avocado tree just next to it, which is so cute. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you. I mean the leaves are really big dark green and incredible that you know all that just came from <clears throat> one avocado stone it's just insane but yeah I just thought I'd see what I can make for lunch not really sure but I'll take you along the journey and see what we get what we manage if there's a salad I'm thinking salad because I'm on a bit of a health kick and in the summer I never fancy um yeah in the summer I never actually fancy like hefty lunch meals I love having salad in the summer so if we can we will um but yeah so that's what else have I got to update you with okay so it's the weekend now Monday I'm gonna see my friend Anissa briefly even though it's raining I'm gonna see her for a nice coffee or tea um, Monday morning so that will be really nice you know you've got to live each day by day do something that's gonna make you feel good each day because it's really important it really helps your overall mood and even eating healthy fuels your body with the right nutrients to have chemical balances in your brain and everything to feel better and have a happy 
vibe and serotonin going through your body. Um, so I highly recommend trying to eat more mindfully and eat healthy. I understand there's a lot of situations that are around eating for people. It's not as easy as it looks and um, you're just going to do the best you can and pride yourself in taking the right steps. Also, drinking enough water is really good really seems to help me as well and I've love I've been loving beading as you saw in my previous vlog and I also love crocheting like I just I think it's so enjoyable I used to think oh my god crochet is so difficult even though I can hand knit and machine knit I never could get around to how you actually hold your hands with the crochet because it's only one crochet hook I'm used to two knitting needles so you just have to find the right grip and then you can kind of get in the groove of it and keep going and it becomes easier and easier so that's really good um so yeah I'm starting to crochet a bit I'm gonna start trying to make a few bags and garments and stuff and build on my skills to enhance my brand when I bring out new products and everything for Vein Knitwear. Um, but yeah, it, other than that, no holidays booked. And it is just what it is, isn't it? We've got to be grateful for the small things and um, just keep on plodding along. <laughs> like um, that song I used to sing when I was younger, Little Donkey. <laughs> it would always say um, something plodding along. So when I say plodding, it reminds me of that, that nursery rhyme, Little Donkey. But yeah, so yeah, let's see what I make now. Enough chatter from me. <laughs> Okay guys, salad is ready. So it's literally it's very simple, it's all we kind of had in the fridge at the moment. Just the chicken from last night on the barbecue, uh, vegan feta cheese, spring onion, cucumber, tomato and salad. And then that's just a quick, easy, healthy lunch, paleo and gut friendly. Hey guys, I've just got to TK Maxx. Um, it was my first drive on my own and it wasn't too bad it was I think in my head it was worse than I thought it would be but I'm just by TK Maxx now I'm actually parked in the most easiest place to park but I literally <laughs> have drove in it wonky I think but it doesn't matter because there's loads of spaces beside me but how embarrassing I can't even drive in the easiest, I can't even park in the easiest place to park. Um, but yeah, I just thought, let's get out of the house guys. I'm sorry these vlogs have been quite boring, I'm just in my room otherwise. So I thought I'd get out of the house and we'd browse TK Maxx. Um, also I conquered my fear of driving on my own, so I'm quite proud of myself. 
and yeah it's good <laughs> we're all good we made it in one piece hopefully there's something nice we can find in there um i recently got some storage boxes for me and um dex no not for me and dex Dexter got me some storage boxes just to clear up some of my shelves in my room. I want to try and declutter but it's really difficult for me. Um, I My mum's way better at knowing how to clear spaces but you know you just have so much stuff and you don't want to get rid of your stuff because it's things you need but you just need to figure out a way to make it more tidy so that's what I'm going to try and achieve over the next few weeks as well. Um, and so yeah hopefully TK Maxx has some good bits that might be um, good for me to keep my room tidy storage I'm not sure We're, I'm not really trying to spend money um, but we'll have a look and we'll see if there's anything that I must get I will get it and if not then that's fine but yeah um, so it's also awkward um, filming in public so hopefully it won't be too bad but we'll see um, but yeah um, let's get into TK Maxx and see what they've got and things there wasn't anything good um, so all I ended up finding was these earrings from the brand Nali these cute chain type earrings with the diamante on the bottom um, and then I just got Dexter some sort of hair and body wash for men just with a pump so it's easy in the shower for him and then I just I didn't realize but they actually were selling the spec sunglasses which I found really good and then at the till the lady put it in the nice um, case for me so that was really nice um, I didn't know if it would come with a case so I'm happy it did um, but yeah I just got these Le spec sunglasses they're like a weird shape because they're um, kind of that weird shape that's trending at the moment um, I don't know if you've heard of the girl the stylist Veneta Car Veneta Carter I think Kim's stylist I'll put some photos of her sunglasses that are selling like hotcakes right now there but they're quite expensive so these are from the specs and they were only 16 pounds so I was pretty happy with those um, and I feel like they're quite fun for summer um, but yeah that's just what my mini shopping haul what I got um, now I'm going to head back home and have some lunch, but I think I'll probably end out the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to show more fun vlogs that are actually getting out of the house a bit more in the near future when I get more and more confident filming in public. And yeah, I hope you're having a great day. and. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye! <laughs>